Josie and the Pussycats, formatted as Josie and the Pussycats in the opening titles, is an American animated television series based upon the Archie Comics comic book series of the same name created by Dan DiCarlo. Produced for Saturday morning television by Hanna-Barbera Productions, 16 episodes of Josie and the Pussycats aired on CBS during the 1970–71 television season and were rerun during the 1971–72 season. In 1972, the show was reconceptualized as Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space, 16 episodes of which aired on CBS during the 1972–73 season and were rerun the following season until January 1974. Reruns of the original series alternated between CBS, ABC, and NBC from 1974 through 1976. This brought its national Saturday morning TV run on three networks to six years. Josie and the Pussycats featured an all-girl pop music band that toured the world with their entourage, getting mixed up in strange adventures, spy capers, and mysteries. On the small screen, the group consisted of level-headed lead singer, songwriter and guitarist Josie, intelligent bassist Valerie, and air-headed blonde drummer Melody. Other characters included their cowardly manager Alexander Cabot III, his conniving sister Alexandra, her cat Sebastian, and muscular Rhodey Allen. The show, more similar to Hanna-Barbera's successful Scooby-Doo, Where Are You?, than the original Josie comic book, is famous for its music, the girls' leopard print leotards replete with long tails and ears for hats. As the theme song states, and for featuring Valerie as the first regularly appearing female black character in a Saturday morning cartoon show. Each episode featured a Josie and the Pussycats song played over a chase scene, which, in a similar fashion to the Monkees, featured the group running after and from a selection of haplessly villainous characters. Creation and development Topic <inaudible> Origins <inaudible> During the 1968-69 television season, the first Archie-based Saturday morning cartoon, The Archie Show, was a huge success, not only in the ratings on CBS, but also on the Billboard charts, The Archie's Song. Sugar, Sugar, hit the number one spot on the Billboard charts in September 1969, becoming the number one song of the year. Animation studio Hanna-Barbera Productions wanted to duplicate the success their competitors' filmation were having with The Archie Show. After a failed attempt at developing a teenage music band show of their own called Mysteries 5 which eventually became Scooby-Doo, Where Are You?, they decided to go to the source and contacted Archie Comics about possibly adapting one of their remaining properties into a show similar to The Archie Show. Archie and Hanna-Barbera collaborated to adapt Archie's Josie comic book into a music-based property about a teenage music band, adding new characters Alan M. and Valerie while dismissing others. The music In preparation for the upcoming cartoon series, Hanna-Barbera began working on putting together a real-life Josie and the Pussycats girl group, who would provide the singing voices of the girls in the cartoons and also record an album of songs to be used both as radio singles and in the TV series. The Josie and the Pussycats recordings were produced by Lilla Productions, run by Danny Jansen and Bobby Young. They held a talent search to find three girls who would match the three girls in the comic book in both looks and singing ability. Early plans, which did not come to fruition, called for a live action Pussycat segment at the end of each episode. After interviewing over 500 finalists, settled upon casting Kathleen Doherty Kathy Doher as Josie, Cherie Moore later known as Cheryl Ladd as Melody, and Patrice Holloway as Valerie. 
Janssen presented the newly formed band to William Hanna and Joseph Barbera to finalize the production deal. Hanna Barbera wanted Janssen to recast Holloway, because they had decided to portray Josie and the Pussycats as an all white trio and had altered Valerie, who had been conceived as African American and was already appearing as such in Archie Comics' revamped Josie and the Pussycats comic book, to make her white. Janssen refused to recast Holloway and threatened to walk away from the project. After a three-week-long standoff between Janssen and Hanna-Barbera, Hanna-Barbera finally relented and allowed Janssen to keep Holloway, and changed Valerie back to being African-American. The Valerie character was the first African-American female character on a regular Saturday morning cartoon series. The Hardy Boys drummer Pete Jones had been the first African-American male to appear on Saturday mornings a year earlier. Topic. Theme song The show's theme song, titled, Josie and the Pussycats, was written by Hoyt Curtin, William Hanna under the pseudonym, Denby Williams, and Joseph Barbera under the pseudonym, Joseph Rowland. Patrice Holloway, the singing voice of Valerie, sings the lead vocal on the recording. The theme song was based on melodies from an incidental tune played on various Hanna-Barbera cartoons since the Jetsons. A cover of Josie and the Pussycats, performed by Juliana Hatfield and Tanya Donnelly is included on the 1995 tribute album Saturday Morning, Cartoon's Greatest Hits, produced by Ralph Sal for MCA Records. Topic. Series overview Josie and the Pussycats debuted on the CBS Saturday morning lineup on September 12, 1970, with the episode, The Nemo's a No No Affair. The animated version of Josie was an amalgam of plot devices, villain types, settings, moods, and tones from other Hanna-Barbera shows such as Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, Johnny Quest, Space Ghost, and Shazan. Like Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, Josie and the Pussycats was originally broadcast with a laugh track. Later home video and DVD releases omit the laugh track. Cartoon Network and Boomerang, however, have aired the show its original broadcast format with laughter intact. Topic. Plot Each episode would find the Pussycats and crew en route to perform a gig or record a song in some exotic location. Somehow, often due to something Alexandra did, they would accidentally find themselves mixed up in an adventure, mystery. The antagonist was always a diabolical mad scientist, spy, or criminal who wanted to take over the world using some high-tech device. The Pussycats would usually find themselves in possession of the plans for an invention, an item of interest to the villains, a secret spy message, etc., and the villains would give chase. Eventually, the Pussycats would formulate a plan to destroy the villains' plans and bring them to justice, which result in a final chase sequence set to a Pussycats song. The Pussycats would succeed in capturing the villain and get back to their gig, recording session, etc. The final gag always centered around one of Alexandra's attempts to interfere with, put an end to the Pussycats' performance and or steal Alan away from Josie, which would always backfire on her. <laughs> Topic. Characters Josephine. Josie. McCoy, voiced by Janet Waldo, sung by Kathy Doer, the red-headed lead singer, songwriter, guitarist and leader of the band. Josie shares an attraction with Alan, the road manager. Valerie Brown, voiced by Barbara Parriott, sung by Patrice Holloway, the band's black bassist and backup singer. The voice of reason in the group, Valerie is highly intelligent and a mechanical wizard. 
Melody Valentine, voiced by Jackie Joseph, sung by Cherie Moore, the band's drummer and backup singer and a stereotypical dumb blonde. What Melody lacks in intellect she makes up for in heart, to wit, her perpetual sweetness and optimism. Her ears twitch when the group is in danger. Alan M. Maybury, voiced by Jerry Dexter, the group's tall, blonde and muscular roadie and Josie's love interest. Alexander Cabot III, voiced by Casey Carson, the group's manager, highly identifiable by his brightly colored mod wardrobe, sunglasses, and idiotic promotion schemes, he is the twin brother of Alexandra. Alexander is an admitted coward, but in sharp contrast to his sister Alexandra, is good-hearted. Alexander and Valerie have a slight attraction to one another at times. He also seems to be attracted to Melody. Alexander is similar and shares the resemblance of Shaggy Rogers in Scooby-Doo. In the new Scooby-Doo movies crossover episode, The Haunted Showboat, Casey Carson voices both Alexander Cabot III and Shaggy Rogers. Alexandra Cabot voiced by Sherry Alberoni, the only girl who is not a pussycat, identified by her long black pony tailed hair with a white streak through the center of it, suggesting a pole cat, or skunk. Mean and bullying, Alexandra is Alexander's twin sister but otherwise has no identifiable role with the band nor any reason for associating with it. She is constantly bitter and jealous of the band's success without her, believing that she should be the real star of the band, and constantly plots to steal the spotlight and Alan's affections from Josie, only to have every scheme fail in humiliating fashion. Despite her jealousy, she remains loyal to the group and will usually fight with them against villains, using her brash personality to intimidate the opposition. Sebastian, voiced by Don Messick, Alexandra's snickering cat, whose black and white fur resembles Alexandra's hair and whose utterances sound the same as another Messick character, Muttley. He enjoys being mean and sometimes appears to go to the enemy's side, but usually only to trick the villain so he can have a chance to help the group escape. He sometimes uses his claws to pick locks. Alexandra sometimes recruits Sebastian to pull dirty tricks on Josie, but even these tricks usually backfire. In the new Scooby-Doo movies crossover episode, The Haunted Showboat, Messick voiced both Sebastian and Scooby-Doo at the same time. Bleep, also voiced by Don Messick and appears only in Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space, Melody's fluffy pet alien with pink extremities. He makes a bleep sound, thus his name, which only Melody can understand. Bleep can also generate invisible sound waves from his mouth and eyes. Topic: <laughs> Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space. In September 1972, a sequel spin-off series titled Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space debuted on CBS. This version of the series launched the characters into outer space. The opening credits sequence shows the group taking a promotional photo at the launch site of a new spaceship and a jealous Alexandra elbowing the cast aside to steal the spotlight from Josie. However, Alexandra is jerked inside as well and triggers the launch sequence, sending them and the ship into deep space. Despite never having been in the spaceship before, Val seems to know how to pilot it. Every episode centered on the Pussycats encountering a strange new world, where they would encounter and often be kidnapped by various alien races before escaping and attempting to return home. Musical numbers and chase sequences set to newly recorded songs were featured in this spin-off series as with the original. Josie in Outer Space also added the character of Bleep, a pet-sized fluffy alien adopted by Melody, who was the only one who could understand the creature who only says Bleep and numerous other alien animals encountered. 
The 16 episodes of Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space were re-run for the 1973–1974 season until January 26, 1974, when CBS cancelled it and ordered no more new Josie episodes from Hanna-Barbera. Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space contained a laugh track as well but utilized an inferior version created by the studio. Topic. After cancellation Josie and the Pussycats made a final appearance as animated characters in a guest shot on the September 22, 1973, episode of the new Scooby-Doo movies, The Haunted Showboat. Early production art for Hanna-Barbera's 1977, All-Star. Battle of the Network Stars spoof Laugh A Olympics featured Alexandra, Sebastian, Alexander, and Melody among other Hanna-Barbera characters as members of the Scooby Doobies team, but legal problems prevented their inclusion in the final program. In 1976, Rand McNally published a children's book based on the Josie TV show, Hanna-Barbera's Josie and the Pussycats, The Bag Factory Detour. The original Josie and the Pussycats series was rerun on NBC Saturday morning for the 1975–1976 season, and weekdays in syndication from 1977 to 1982. In the mid-1980s, both series, along with a number of other 1970s Hanna-Barbera cartoons, were on board USA Network's Cartoon Express. They would next appear on Cartoon Network in 1992, where all 32 episodes were run in the same time slot. Both programs, as of March 3, 2014, are in the library of Boomerang Turner Broadcasting's archive cartoon channel. Topic Episodes Topic Josie and the Pussycats, nineteen seventy nineteen seventy one Topic Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space, nineteen seventy two Topic Voices Speaking Voices Janet Waldo, Josie Barbara Parriott, Valerie Jackie Joseph, Melody Jerry Dexter, Alan Casey Carsom, Alexander Cabot, three Sherry Alberoni, Alexandra Cabot Don Messick, Sebastian the Cat, Bleep Singing Voices Band Members Only Kathy Doer, Josie Patrice Holloway, Valerie Cherie Moore, Melody Topic. Home Media A VHS videocassette of Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space containing three episodes was issued by World Vision Home Video in 1980. A second videocassette, Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space, Volume 2, was released in 1985. Two VHS volumes of Josie and the Pussycats, each containing four episodes of the original 1970 series, minus the laugh tracks, were released by Warner Home Video. Hanna Barbera had been sold to Turner Broadcasting in 1991, with Turner merging with Time Warner six years later on April 10, 2001, to coincide with the release of the live-action film, a Josie in Outer Space episode. Warrior Women of Amazonia was featured in a clip episode collection of Hanna Barbera on VHS, released in the UK. A Josie and the Pussycats, the complete series 2 DVD box set was released in Region 1, the United States, Canada, and Japan on September 18, 2007. 
All 16 episodes, again minus the laugh tracks, were included, as well as a half-hour documentary on the life and career of Dan DiCarlo. The first episode of the 1970 series, The Nemo's a No-No Affair, is featured on the DVD compilation Saturday Morning Cartoons, the 1970s Volume 1 released on May 26, 2009. On October 19, 2010, Warner Archive released Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space, the complete series on DVD in Region 1 as part of their Hanna-Barbera Classics collection of Manufacture on Demand mod releases. Josie in Outer Space is available exclusively through Warner's online store and Amazon.com. Reception Josie and the Pussycats was named the 100th Best Animated Series by Entertainment Website IGN, which referred to Josie as an amusing show for the way in which it combined elements from The Archie Show and Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Spin-offs and spoofs In 2001, Cartoon Network began airing a Josie and the Pussycats short, called Musical Evolution, featured the Pussycats performing their theme song through the various eras of popular music, including pop, disco, punk, kiss-like heavy metal, country, and techno. Different animation styles are used for each era. The same year, Josie and the Pussycats was adapted into a live-action motion picture. The film, produced by Universal Pictures, featured a punk rock cover of the theme song during the end credits. The 2004-2007 Comedy Central animated TV series Drawn Together featured a character named Foxy Love. An African-American mystery-solving musician, she was a direct parody of the Josie and the Pussycats character Valerie Brown. Several episodes of Speed Buggy, a later Hanna-Barbera show, had similar plots to Josie and the Pussycats episodes, specifically a green thumb is not a goldfinger, Island of the Giant Plants, X marks the spot out of sight, and the Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space episode Warrior Women of Amazonia, called the Hidden Valley of Amazonia in Speed Buggy. In 2016, Josie and the Pussycats was rebooted as a comic book. This update features the origins of the band. Originally, Josie was a struggling musician who merely played an empty bar while heckled by her former friend, Alexandra. After talking with her roommate, Melody and bringing a stray cat to the vets, they meet Valerie, a veterinarian. The trio decided to play for the Animal Shelter fundraiser. Despite Alexandra's attempts, the trio is a success and decided to call themselves Josie and the Pussycats, where they meet the producer Alan M. The 2017 live-action TV series Riverdale featured Josie and the Pussycats as African-American students at the local high school. Josie's mother is the town mayor. Topic Notes Topic See also Josie and the Pussycats, the Archie comic, Josie and the Pussycats, the music group put together in conjunction with the show, Josie and the Pussycats, the live action movie.